I bought some new equipment lately, but not for the shop outside. I recently purchased a vinyl cutter and a heat press to do t-shirts and other garments, as well as a printer to do sublimation projects like this coffee mug. The vinyl cutter is a 34 inch model MH871 from US Cutter. The heat press is a 5-in-1 combo from Planet Flame that I bought off Amazon that includes a 12 inch by 15 inch heat press, a hat press attachment, a mug press, and a couple of plate presses. The printer is an Epson ET2760 that I've been using to sublimate coffee mugs. I have been posting some photos of t-shirts I made on social media and I've had a few people ask me if I would show them my process of how I make a t-shirt. So today I'm going to show you how I design and press a simple t-shirt. I'm going to open up my Vinyl Master Cut software. This is the software that came with my vinyl cutter and then I just select the new document. And I'm going to set the size for about 10 by 10. I found that's a pretty decent size for the front of a t-shirt. Then I'm going to go select some text and I've already checked out the, uh, the font that I want and I'm going to use a font called Chunk, Ro Chunk 5 Roman. So I'm just going to scroll down and select that and then I'm ready to just start typing in. So I'll just start adding my text here. I like coffee. And maybe three people. And then once I've got that typed, I'm going to kind of move it down to center it a little bit. And then I'm also going to go up and align the text to the center. Then I'm going to grab this little uh, node here and stretch it out and make it a little bit bigger and then I can go up and hit the select button and it'll give me the size up there of what size my text box is And I think I can make it still a little bit wider and a little bit taller yet. So get it about to the size I like and then go back and make sure that I get it back aligned to the center. And then I'll slide it back down to the edge of the material and I should be good to go I think. If I click on the little icon that looks like the uh, blade, I can see that my material is 8.645 inches wide by 6.119 inches tall. And I can also see where it's going to be positioned on the material. So if I'm happy with that, I can now save this so that I can use it again in the future. Now it's time to load up the vinyl cutter. I've got a 12 by 15 inch sheet of um, Caesar Easy Weed vinyl. Um, I'm just going to put this in the vinyl cutter and get it lined up. And then once I get it lined up, I'll just reach back there and pop down the rollers. Then I'll power up the vinyl cutter. And then it's time to set the origin. You just move the vinyl to where it's at the blade is at the edge of the material. And then I can just hit the origin button and I'm ready to go from there. When running vinyl for a t-shirt, I'm just going to double check and make sure that I have the mirror option selected. And then hit the area test to make sure it's not going to run off the material. And then I'm ready to 
start cutting. I guess I should also mention that when you're cutting uh, heat transfer vinyl for a t-shirt, you want to make sure you put the shiny side down and cut on the other side because since you're mirroring the text, uh, the carrier is what's on the other side. So you need to make sure that you have the shiny side down and you're actually cutting what looks like backwards text. Since I didn't use that much of that 12 by 15 inch sheet, I'm going to cut off the scrap material and save it for another small project. Now it's time for the fun part. I'm going to weed out all the unneeded material using a dental pick and just pulling it carefully, uh, making sure that the part that I want uh, sticks to the carrier sheet. This heat transfer vinyl from Caesar Easy Weed is really easy to work with so I'll leave some links down below in the description if you want to check it out. Now it's time to power up the heat press and check the settings and I need to set the temperature for 305 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll set the timer for 15 seconds and I have the uh, heat press adjusted for about medium pressure. It takes a few minutes for the heat press to heat up so I'll, while that's heated up I'll go ahead and get my garment placed on there and then I'll take my T-square ruler and make sure that I have it centered. This is a handy little tool that I picked up. Uh, you just place it on there and then lift up the sleeve and see where the seam is hitting the marker and it really helps to uh, make sure you've got it dead center and you can get your um, your heat transfer vinyl put on there in the perfect position. When the heat press is up to temperature I'm just going to put a Teflon sheet on here to protect the platen and then uh, move it around and just press it for about two to three seconds just to take the wrinkles out of the shirt and to warm it up a bit. Then it's time to add the vinyl. I just kind of uh, eyeball it in place here and then check it one last time with the T-square to make sure it's in the position where I want it. When I've got it right where I want it, it's time to add the Teflon sheet back over it, swing it around, and now I will press it for 15 seconds. Once that's done, I'll swing it out Remove the Teflon sheet, peel the carrier sheet off, and then again replace the Teflon sheet and hit it for another 15 seconds.
Okay, that's going to do it for this video. I think this shirt turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, uh, especially if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Uh, I do want to give a quick shout out though to uh, Joe from Heart and Hustle Printing. Uh, he's got a great YouTube channel, provides lots of uh, good information about all of this kind of stuff. And uh, about a month or so ago when I was thinking about getting the vinyl printer or vinyl cutter, uh, I ran across his channel and started watching his stuff and he has a lot of great information on there. And I also want to say congrats to Joe because he recently uh, bought a store uh, that's going to be called The Vinyl Stand in Evans, Georgia. So congrats to you Joe on that. That'll work out great I'm sure. Uh, but just want to give you a shout out and also check out his YouTube channel. I have a link down below in the description. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how I use my Epson printer and this little mug press here to make these awesome coffee mugs. So watch for that. So that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.